guess what? We're back at it. I hope one day, somehow, I always will meet again. Cause I've been wondering why we still play as we were friends. I hope somehow, I always will meet again. It's time to care. We should just share love one day. My, my, my. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you guys are watching this, welcome back to our channel. And like Alex said, we are back at it. We're so excited to be back out into the world again with this crazy COVID-19 that's going around. So we are in Oaxaca, Mexico for the next nine to 10 days. We're gonna be taking you around and showing you what Oaxaca is most famous for. And that's chocolate, mezcal, coffee. We're gonna be getting into all of it and hopefully showing you guys some of Oaxaca's most famous, beautiful spots. Right now, we're headed to a Saturday market. Gonna see what that's all about, so let's get going. which is basically just the city center. It's been told if you can't find it here, you won't find it at all. So we're in the right place, let's go. So we're walking around and it turns out that this isn't just an outdoor market, it's also indoors. Very open, but there's so many goods here. There's lots of different goods here. Um, lots of, looks like fruit smoothies, aguas, different fruit aguas and lots of material things. So lots of clothing and, and toys and different things. So there's a ton of different things that are available here and we're just getting into it. So let's keep looking around. smoky in here everybody's grilling up and you can actually order to eat here so they really try and get you to sit down here this is where they're really trying to get you to eat everyone's kind of barking at you the problem is Alex and I don't really speak very much Spanish so we're not actually sure what they're telling us so we kind of just go no no thank you <laughs> really like a Mexican style cafeteria where a lot of people can come to get their lunch. It seems like a lot of locals are eating here. It looks like a great place to get a bite to eat. Alright guys, so with all of the COVID precautions going on around here, Mexico is doing a really good job of making sure that everything is sanitized. And they have these little wet cloths that you stomp your feet on, which cleans the bottom of your feet. They take your temperature and they have you um, put hand, sanit hand sanitizer on and they also sometimes even spray down your body. So, check this out. Alrighty, so we're gonna test out this hot chocolate. 
really hot, but it smells magical. That's really rich, really dark chocolate, I think, too, they use. But it's really frothy, and I think what he was doing there was frothing it up, making all the milk all nice and creamy. It's not as sweet as regular hot chocolate, obviously, but I almost like that better. And here's the bread. Like I said, it's almost croissant-like, how it just kind of fell apart there. I actually think it's cinnamon. Cinnamon and chocolate, maybe? Mm -hmm. Dunkin'. Dunkin'. ever had. I'm super excited. He was asking me what we wanted to put on it and I said todo. All of it. Give me all of it. So we got cheese, we got uh, butter, we got sauces, we got hot sauce. Oh and some lime. He put some nice little lime on there and some salt. This looks bomb first of all. This only costs 25 pesos which in US is only about $1.25. So great deal for a awesome little snack here. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. I don't know where to bite. Whoa, that's good. I was expecting it to be really good, but that like blew my mind. You definitely get the lime, you get the salt, but you get the creamy cheese. Oh my gosh. Ooh, and now I get the spice. The spice is coming in hot. Huh. See what I did there? Corn is really sweet. That's really good. Definitely worth 25 pesos and a must do when in Mexico. All right, guys, like we said, Mezcal is huge here in Oaxaca. So we stopped off at a li little bar in the center of Oaxaca and we ordered some Avanti Mezcal. All tequilas are considered mezcals, but not all mezcals are considered tequila. So tequila is made from blue agave, while mezcal can actually be made from 30 different varieties of agave. So the main difference is actually how they're distilled. Tequila is steamed agave. Mezcal, on the other hand, is cooked inside earthen pits that are lined with lava rocks and filled with wood and charcoal before being distilled in clay pots. And this is how you get that kind of smoky flavor that people talk about when they talk about the difference between mezcal and tequila. Yes, that is key. So, we have some here. Mm -hmm. I'm not the biggest fan of tequila. And it smells like tequila. They're very, very similar, but like we said, there are distinct differences. And you're supposed to sip it, not shoot it. So we're gonna give it a try. Cheers. Ooh. So, it is a little bit different than tequila for sure, and I do get that smokiness the across. The aftertaste, yeah, the aftertaste There's is really smoky. There's definite smoky. But it's not bad though, but it is, it's like tequila, but smoky at the end, I feel like. Very much so. So we're gonna enjoy these Pacificos, and uh, if you're ever in Oaxaca, definitely get some mezcal. Cheers guys. Good morning all, and uh, after a long night of mezcal, you have to go get the third thing that we mentioned, coffee. We're gonna get ready, we'll see you there. All right guys, we've made it. Ooh. All right guys, so this is my second cup of coffee today. We're doing ice this time around because it's freaking hot outside. Like we mentioned at the very beginning, coffee is one of the most famous products here in Oaxaca. It's a misconception that Mexican coffee is really bold and intense. It's actually very creamy and light bodied with flavors that kind of represent Mexico in itself. So you have fruity, you've got chocolatey and caramely, nutty. Today, you'll find that most coffee beans are still locally grown, organic, and found in farms uh, close to the Pacific 
Pacific West side of Oaxaca. And so like I said, this is my second cup of the day and I'm feeling great. So guys, behind us we have the Templo de Santo Domingo de Guzman. It is one of the most famous um, Catholic cathedrals here in Oaxaca City. So inside it's just embellished with gold everywhere. It's really, really incredible. Amazing artwork and architecture. We also wanted to take you around to some of the most popular sites here around Oaxaca City, including Monte Elbon, uh, Mitla, uh, which are both um, archaeological ruins, and Hierve el Agua, which is a petrified waterfall, and it has amazing uh, pools that you can kind of sit, sit in and relax, and it's really, really beautiful. Unfortunately, they are actually all closed right now due to COVID. Uh, they aren't actually government-owned. They are owned by the people, and at this time, they don't feel comfortable allowing visitors to those locations. So guys, for now, that's it for Oaxaca City. Mm -hmm. We're glad you guys come along with us. And remember, if you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next episode.